Hello, Mrs. Stolfa and Ronan back again. I'm going to talk about one more desert book. So if you've seen the other videos, you'll notice I'm in the same shirt. If you watched The Three Little Javelinas and Cactus Hotel, we're reading desert books today so that we can show you the desert books. Hold on, let me scoot you closer. And we can show you the desert. Yeah, the desert because... And there's a big, big spiral oh in this Oh my goodness. Book. So this one is actually a 3D book, okay? So it's kind of hard to see in the video, but we're going to try to show you because it's a pretty amazing book. Some of you guys, if you've been in my office before, you may have seen this book, but that would have been like a year, maybe, I don't even know if it was last year. It was the year before. Okay. Can I so, open? Yes. Let's open the first page. Okay. Let's open, but then we have to show it up. Okay. Let's see that. Okay, oh, ready? Kids, can you see this one? Kids, can you see this? All right, and so we're going to show you kind of what, if you were to open it, see how it's 3D. And so there's Can all I look different at that parts. first page? Mm -hmm. All right, so. Can I hold it right on the Well, hold on, let me read the words, okay? And then you can show them. All right, so I'm going to read the words first, and then we're going to show you some of the things it does. In the early morning sun, two mountain lion cubs are playing with a spiny lizard. You knew the mountain lions? Soon they will follow their mother to their den to sleep during the hottest time of the day. They live in Arizona's Sonoran Desert. The desert has little water, and it is often very hot. Some desert... Can I show you things? Hold on, I didn't get there yet. Some desert plants have spines as sharp as needles. <gasps> Ooh, what plant has spines as sharp as needles? Needles. A cactus. A cactus does. A saguaro cactus is like an apartment building. Ah, so the the story we read earlier said that it's like a hotel because some people come in and come out. Well, this book says it's kind of like an apartment. So if Can you I guys look at that too? Yeah, hold on, if you if any of you guys live in an apartment, you know what it means. It means that you might live next right next door to somebody or somebody might live right above you or right below you so it's kind of the same as the cactus if you think about it that way Can I well then let me just read this okay many creatures have homes there in the morning a kestrel flies out from its nest and an elf owl comes home to sleep can you find another owl can you see that What's the owl doing? It's opening his eyes. I think he's closing his eyes because he's ready to go to sleep. Because an owl is just like a coyote and a bat. It is nocturnal. So it sleeps during the day and is awake at night. Okay. Oh, wait. We got to make sure we can still see it. Oh. Ooh. So it talks about... This owl's coming home to go to sleep, and this bird is leaving <coughs> in the morning. Okay. Anything I, else? Can I show you something? What? That is a cactus. Mm -hmm. What animal do you see? Sorry, i got to show it just so they can see it, okay? Um, what is this animal right here? Can you look over? Uh... A board? The woodpecker. I think it's trying to make a new home in the cactus. And there's other animals. And those cactus down here, they're not called saguaro cactus. I believe they're called barrel cactus. And then these cactus are the ones that javelinas love. They're prickly pear. And they're called... Saguaro. Yeah. Say saguaro. Good. All right. Can I look at that? The next one? Yep. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Whoa. No, I mean this Okay, page. well, hold on. We'll go back to it in a sec, okay? Let's show them this one. Scoot your head for a second. Let me show them. Can you scoot? Yeah. Whoa. I want to show them all the parts, and then you can show them. All right, let's read the, the words. In the desert, many animals hunt in the morning when it's cool. 
A roadrunner goes after a rattlesnake. Okay. A roadrunner goes after a rattlesnake. The snake rattles its tail, ready to strike, but the bird can dodge the snake's poisonous fangs. When the snake gets tired, the bird may kill it for food. Where is that rattlesnake? Whoa, what's this one? That is the roadrunner. A roadrunner is a type of bird. It cannot fly. Well, I think it can fly a teeny, well, it doesn't fly, but it can run super fast. And I think it can kind of like hop and it looks like it's flying. So this roadrunner has a very, very sharp beak. And so it'll just go and knock into another animal's head and knock them out and then eat them. Uh, but the snake's trying to rattle. She gets rattled. But the roadrunner will probably win out in that one. Okay. Is there a thing? No. Okay. Nearby, a badger digs into the home of a ground squirrel. The underground home or the burrow has another opening. But even if the squirrel escapes the claws of the badger, it may become breakfast for a watchful coyote. Oh, no. So Ronan just pulled that out. Can you scoot just a little bit and do that again for me? So when that happens, the badger's going this way and squirrel, oh, squirrel tries to come out of there. So the squirrel doesn't really have a chance because it's going to go down one hole and come out another and there might be another animal waiting to eat it. Poor squirrel. I think squirrel's going to be okay now. You do? This was on the ground. Whoa. Can I show you this page? Mm -hmm. Can I read the words first? Can you want to show it this way first? Yeah. Okay. Can I show you something? Mm -hmm. There was trolls when this boy play in them. What are they? It says kit fox kittens. So not children, baby, baby foxes. And not that small holes lay now in the sun, uh -huh. but they're playing. Okay, let me show. So and can they Wait, see hold on, hold on. Else? So let me make sure they can see. So the, the fox kittens are in the hole, and they play in their den during the day. Why do they do that in the day? They, because how does it feel outside? Nice. What? Really? No, can I put wait, this? Wait, wait. How does it feel in the desert during the day? It's very hot. Yes. Okay. What else? Can I just put it on the table? Well, I have to hold it because I don't think they can see it if I put it on the table. What do you want to show them next? There's a snake on the side and outside. Oh, okay. I'll turn it around. Here, can you do, can you do this? No, I want to put it on one. See the snake moving? Can you see it? Yeah, I guess so. You think so? Okay. Um, mm. Let me just show them in case they can't see it, okay? I'm going to show it up close here. All right. So it shows a snake. I don't like the big spider. Yeah, it's not on this page. All right, let me read some of the words, okay? All right, let me put this back up a little bit. Here we go. Okay. It's late in spring in the desert and flowers are blooming. So if any of you guys went hiking like in uh, April or you went outside and you saw your neighbor's cactus, that would be late spring. Well, for it's kind of in the middle of the spring, but because it's the desert, it's a little bit different. Uh, I saw a ton of flowers growing. Did you see a lot of flowers on cactus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we would see a blooming. At noontime, it's hot though, and many animals stay still in the shade. This way, they do not need as much water. A mule deer curls up near a cactus. Where's that mule deer? A mule deer curls up next to a cactus, so it gets a little bit of shade. Can I show you something? Mm -hmm. A poison lizard. Oh, yeah. Oh, can we see it? Is that a Gila monster? It says a Gila monster rests in the daytime. Yep, you're right. A poisonous spider. Not a poisonous spider. A spider. 
a poisonous lizard. We need spirals, but they eat good bugs. They eat the bad bugs. And the good bugs. Mm. Uh, javelinas, which are like pigs, bury themselves in the sand. Where are those? Ha oh, these javelinas are kind of tricky to see. Uh, let's see if we do it this way. And if you look under or behind that cactus, do you see the javelinas? Are they right there? Yeah. Yeah. So they kind of bury themselves in the sand and the dirt so they can stay cool. Well, can I just put it away on the table one more time? Uh -huh. Can you find other animals, it says? So you found a Gila monster, right? What else? We found the kittens. Not like kitty cats, but... Um, oh, this side. What's that one? Oh, cool. It says a ringtail sleeps in its den. So it shows it under the rocks is a ringtail. Yes. Yeah, now do that so they can see that. Can you pull that? Those are quail. They're running through the desert. And the snake. Not all animals are resting. Quail run through the bushes. A red racer slithers across the hot sand in the shelter of a rock. No, the snake would die. That? Yeah, hold on, I'll turn it. The snake would die if it stayed too long in the sun. The two hawks perch above their nest on the cactus. So if you see on the top there, these are the two hawks. But we found one other animal we didn't show you. Which one was it? This one? What's that one? A red racer lives under a rock. So this is one of my favorite pages. Okay, you want to put it down for a sec? What else do you want to tell them? Look at that board. It is so in a hawk. Yeah. I call it a board. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's your favorite bird, but it's called a hawk. Okay. Right. Look at this cactus. That is a very short cactus. Is it short or tall? I tried to trick you. I tried to, try to say short. Okay. Let's try to see. Mm-hmm. Snakes climb on What do you guys think? Can snakes climb on cactus? I don't think so. And I think that's why the birds and all the other animals like to live at the top of the cactus so they can make sure that they stay safe. So I think snakes can slither, but... I don't think they're gonna go all the way up the cactus. Okay. Is this the page you don't like? No. No. Okay. So let me show. Here we go. I like this page. Yeah? All right, let me read the words, okay? In the afternoon heat, only a few animals are moving about. A pack rat runs home with the toy it found. A tortoise reaches for Cactus fruit and startles a jackrabbit. A black-throated turtle—it's a tortoise. A black-throated sparrow hunts for seeds. Some animals escape the sun by staying underground. A Look at that. Mm -hmm. A scorpion will wait until night to hunt for insects to eat. With its cheek pouches full of seeds, a pocket mouse curls up in its burrow. A centipede has found a cool, damp spot. So, uh, that one is the tricky one. But it was kind of broken before. So, if you guys can see this kind of, can you scoot back a little bit? Please? This is a pack rat, and the pack rat found somebody dropped a toy while hiking, so it takes it back into its den. This one's broken though, so I'm not going to pull that all the way out. Um, what about the? Can you show them the jackrabbit? Jackrabbit is. The jackrabbit gets startled by the tortoise. So the tortoise is eating the cactus, and then the jackrabbit's probably eating the cactus on the other side, but doesn't realize the tortoise comes up because the tortoise is so very slow. So it comes up to the cactus, and the jackrabbit says, ah! What else was there? Is there something under here? A scorpion! A poisonous scorpion rests in its tunnel. <laughs> Ooh, oh, there's another one over here. A pocket mouse sleeps safely in its nest underground. And it 
did not get poison by the school. No. Is there anything else on this page? Oh, this one. You might find a centipede under a rock. I do not like centipedes. No. What are centipedes? Centipedes have a lot of legs and they're really creepy. I don't oh. like them. Oh, can I look at it? Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Okay. The spiders eat the bad bugs. You right, yeah. want them to eat the bad bugs. This is the page Ronan doesn't like. Walk away! He's gonna walk away. He doesn't want to get scared of the gigantic tarantula. Oh, I like this page. oh now you like it. Okay, good. All right, let's read the words, okay? As the night, as the sun sets. Oh, look at that beautiful sunset. You see that beautiful sunset? Sometimes I don't like spiders. I know. I don't really like spiders either, but the desert cools off quickly. Night animals such as the tarantula begin to move around. The tarantula is a spider the size of a mouse. It crawls over rocks to catch a beetle. A Gila monster. Where's that Gila monster? Turns its head to watch. It uses its sense of smell to find eggs, what? birds, and small insects to eat. So the Gila monster likes to eat other animals' eggs, small insects, and small animals, and birds, what? I mean. But the spiders eat lizards? Um, I don't know. When food is scarce, the lizard lives on fat stored in its big tail. So this guy, remember we talked about he doesn't really move all that much because he doesn't want to eat. Hey, look at the spider. Mm -hmm. it looks like the spider's trying to eat that beetle. A skunk does a handstand. What? Woo! To warn <laughs> a bobcat. If the bobcat does not leave, the skunk will spray a bad smell. I don't want to get sprayed by a skunk. No, thank you. A wren sings from the top of the cactus. <laughs> oh, it looks, like, it looks like it's going to eat the cactus. Yeah, it does kind of look like it's going to eat the cactus, but it's really going to be singing. <laughs> its nest is safe among the sharp cactus vines. Is it in there? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I don't oh, yes. Like it's very tricky to see, I think. Can I see? Uh, let me try to. Are those baby birds? Yeah. Let me show them. So if you look inside there, so they're showing the. Can I look at it? Yeah, hold on. The wren, the birds are safe inside the cactus. It's protected by the cactus. Can I look at something? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, hold on. We got one more page, I think, right? This one. Okay, let's see. Because now it's sunset, so what's going to happen next? Now, next it's going to be a full moon lights up the desert night. What? Yes, you. What are those? Now that it's cooler, a lot of animals are out hunting. Many of them depend on their sharp sense of hearing or smell to catch food. What's that? Hold on, let me read. Bats use echoes to find their way. Long-nosed bats sip the nectar from the cactus flowers. Uh, oh, that was stuck. Kit foxes play. So those are kit foxes. Remember, they were the ones that were in their den in the morning. Can you scoot back so I can show the picture? So now they're playing because now it's nice and cool outside. And a ringtail watches from a big rock. This is a ringtail. A screech owl brings a moth for its hungry baby. So he's bringing, a, or she's bringing a moth for her baby bee. Nesting in the hole of a cactus. When morning comes, the night hunters will return to their homes, and the daytime hunters will begin to search for food. Whoa, look at oh, that. Oh, yeah, so that's the bat drinking the nectar from the cactus flowers. And he clicked on his wing. Mm-hmm. Because they're Look flying. Look yeah, let me show them up close. So the bat is flying as it drinks the nectar. Oh, I think Excuse, so Excuse me. 
You can use your manners. Yes, please. Why is there a baby? Why is there a baby? Oh. Because she had a baby, and now she's got to feed the baby, right? What's that? That's a owl, it says. It says it's a screech owl. What is, what's the name? A moth. A moth is like a cousin of a butterfly. So it, it's like a butterfly, but it's not. Look at the bat's tongue. Oh, uh, yeah. So a moth is an insect. No, what? Hold on, let me tell you. A moth is an insect, and a moth is awake at night when the butterfly is awake during the day. No, what's this? What's what? what? The, the bird. The bird. That's not a bird. The bat. The bat is flying. The and which one is your favorite, Ronan? Uh, what's your favorite desert animal? Uh, the wizard. The, the Gila monster one? Mm -hmm. You like that one? Mm -hmm. I mean, I like it, but it's not my favorite. Can I look at the frost plant? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, they can't see it if it's like that. Creatures of the desert world. And actually, we didn't even talk. Wait, can I just show them the front real fast? We didn't even talk about. That's a gigantic jackrabbit on the front, huh? Oh, bless you. There we go. Okay, so it starts in the morning, and it goes throughout the whole day, and then it ends in the night. All right, what's your favorite part of the story? Do you like the animals that are active during the morning or in the daytime or at night? Are there any animals that are scary to you? Are there any animals that are poisonous? Mm -hmm. I want you to think about all those kinds of animals that are poisonous, the ones that you should not touch. They're venomous, okay? And I want you to think of the animals that are beautiful. And I want you to think about the plants that are beautiful. And you might see some butterflies if you be really quiet. Mm -hmm. You have to be really quiet and really still. Your whole body has to be quiet, right? Like a quiet body listener. So if you're doing this, will the animals or the butterflies come up to you? No. no. You know what they don't talk about at all? Hummingbirds. We haven't seen any hummingbirds in these. Yes, books. we did. In the book? No. No, but we see them around the desert, right? No. I mean, a long time ago, we just saw like a five hummingbirds. Yeah, we see them around our house, but... I don't see them in our books, huh? Okay, so I want you to think about all the things you might see in the desert. Think about what one is your favorite. And if you can, you can describe it. Like if you said, I want to talk all about a saguaro. Oh, no, a saguaro cactus. I would say a saguaro cactus belongs to what group? Is it an animal? You might love no. me. They I might love you? Okay. Uh, kids, okay. you might miss me. <laughs> I'm sure they miss you. Uh, so a saguaro cactus is not an animal. It is a plant. And a saguaro cactus, what does it do? It grows very slowly. And a saguaro cactus, we've got green, group, blue, do. What does it look like? Saguaro cactus can be tall. It can be short when it's young. It can be skinny if it doesn't have any water. If it has some water, it can be a little bit of fatter. It, uh, what is it made of? It's made of the things they call ribs inside. Those are the sticks inside. Mommy, I'm like Teddy's weighing it. Oh my goodness, they're growing, huh? And it's made, uh, it also has spines on it. Um, the parts of it, that would be the spines. Mommy, so snakes like to get wet. Snakes like to what? I don't think so because they're cold blooded, so they want to stay warm. Um, and the oh, what about the flesh snake? Like mm -hmm, you? Yes. Think, think, think. Uh, okay, so the parts of the cactus, we would say a cactus has spines. A cactus has skin all around it. Um, if an animal makes a nest inside, a cactus can grow a scab around the nest to protect itself. And a cactus has roots underneath the ground and they go out and shallow that means they don't go down deep so as Your it grows cactus is 
Oh no, I was going to say as it grows and if it grows really, really tall, then if the wind blows, it can knock it down because the roots are not very deep. They are long and they go far. Are you going to be a cactus? Thud. Okay. Uh, so we did, what is it made of? Pink parts, uh, white, when and where. So where do we see a cactus? Yeah, in the desert. And if we're talking if we're talking about this saguaro cactus right here, we would see that in the Sonoran Desert, which is where uh, we can I see them in southern cactus, Arizona. Guys, I saw this cactus right over there next to that neighbor. Yeah, the prickly pear. Yeah, I. Mm -hmm, yeah. I'm on the street. Yeah, so you could walk through your neighborhood and see some of these cactus, right? And you um, might see some big cactuses. Yeah. I see some. Yeah, that's a saguaro. So if I said white, when and where, we know where in the desert. Uh, when. So we could talk about when. Like when do we see the flowers of the cactus? Do we see them during the day usually? Or when it gets hot? Or do we see them starting to open maybe at dusk which is at the evening and then they're open during the nighttime and maybe early morning and then they uh and when do we see the fruit and the flowers usually see the fruit i mean the flowers in the springtime and then i think after that we see the flowers i mean the fruit excuse me uh and what else do i know let's share anything else you know about a cactus a jackrabbit eats a cactus and javelina loves to eat a cactus and a tortoise a desert tortoise eats a cactus so that's some other information about a cactus so if you know anything else i want you to share it and think of another uh animal that you could talk about and describe like a bat or an owl or a coyote or a scorpion a rattlesnake a gila monster any of those animals that live in the desert sound good I like the big spider. And Ronan likes the big spider sometimes, which is called a what? A tarantula. Let's count that one. Tarantula. 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 That's hard to say when you separate it. Hold on, please. Four syllables. Ronan's trying to be a monsoon storm and, and blow over that cactus. I don't think it's going to happen. All right, kids. Superstars, Bye. see you next time. And I think you miss me. Mm -hmm. You probably miss me more though, right? And me. Maybe him too. I love to play with mommy's motorcycle. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye for now. Bye. See you later.